one of the health facilities are provided after COVID, which, are, which is going on now also. Uh, and there are many uh, mis mis uh, mis 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 assumptions regarding the COVID also. Uh, well, what, what can you tell about us? That's a very good question. In fact, our country has realized after COVID that we need to upgrade our healthcare infrastructure because we were never prepared for pandemic. We were prepared for, you know, this disease or that disease, but we never imagined that a pandemic of this scale would hit us. And it's not just India. No one across the world was prepared. But look at the power of India. And look at the power of our Prime Minister. In very short time, India, which was not manufacturing even a single PPE kit, is now exporting PPE kits to more than 75 countries. India, which was not manufacturing even a single ventilator for a single ventilator, we had to import. Now we are exporting ventilators. There were nobody who was manufacturing PSA plants in India, barring just one company. Now India has not only manufactured thousands and thousands of PSA oxygen plants, but India is now exporting PSA plants and the biggest thing which we could do in the pandemic, we could manufacture our own vaccines. Just imagine if we would not have manufactured our own vaccines, what would have happened? USA, UK, France, Germany, they would have said, We'll give you vaccines, but allow us to first vaccinate our people. And none of this nation is fully vaccinated as yet. So by this day, all of us, most of us, would not have received any vaccination. And today, this third wave, which has hit us, could be contained only because we are vaccinated. Otherwise, this would have been the worst wave. And our Prime Minister took all efforts. He gave, gave advance money to the manufacturers. He solved all their problems. They wanted some material to be imported. No nation was ready to give, but with all good relations which our Prime Minister has made with other nations, that we could get all the bulk drug imported and based on that we created our own vaccines and today in absolute numbers India has largest number of people vaccinated and even in the terms of percentage we are fifth in the world and we could save the nation. So I think that is the power of India. And I would like to remind you, when this vaccination drive was rolled out, Rahul Gandhi said, it's a BJP vaccine, I won't take it. Akhilesh Yadav said, it's a Modi vaccine, I won't take. Ultimately, both took the same vaccine. And after realizing what has happened in the pandemic, Modi ji started investing into healthcare. There is unprecedented investment. 2 lakh crore rupees per year is the investment into healthcare. And we are creating 2 lakh 50 thousand wellness centers across the country so that Every single person gets specialty care. In Goa also, you can see super specialty has been started in the Goa Medical College. And with this super specialty, the Goans will not have to go to other states. 
for many of the diseases. So I think if we look at just the absolute numbers of medical colleges, so in last 60 years, the number of medical colleges we built across the entire country, same number, Prime Minister Modi ji built in last 5 years. So what we could do in the healthcare sector in 60, 65 years, Modi ji achieved the same in just 5 years. So I think in the space of healthcare, India is emerging as champion and soon you will see and even in Goa, we feel that Goa is a perfect place for medical tourism. It's a tourist destination and if we create world class healthcare facility here, not just tourists but medical tourists will also come here because our healthcare is 10 times cheaper than any developed countries and even now people come to India to get operated even now people come to Goa for dental treatments so I think this we could achieve just because of the vision of our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi